Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 15th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 1 from the Blue Book app. Number 15, you see the equation up top, 5G plus 45R equals 380. By the way, that's a pirate's favorite letter, R. Um, and then we get the question itself. At a school fair, students can win colored tokens that are worth a different number of points depending on the color. One student won G green tokens and R red tokens worth a total of 380 points. And we've got to the meat of the information explaining what the equation is saying. Good idea to underline that. Take note of it. The question continues. The given equation represents a situation. How many more points is a red token worth than a green token? Well, if you've got your total number of points is 380 and G is the number of tokens, what you could do, I'm gonna say something if you can't, and I'm gonna pick numbers doing it so it could help you to wrap your head around this if you got this question wrong. Now let's say the student won one green token. How much money in green, how many uh, points in green tokens would that person have? They would have five. If they had two green tokens, how many points in green tokens would they have? They would have 10. And that's just working with the 5G. You could say the same thing for the red tokens. If you had one red token, then you had 45 points in red tokens. If you had two red tokens, then you had 90 points in red tokens. And it's got to be points because it's got to total that 380. So what does the G and the R, that's a number of tokens. So what's a 5 and a 45? That must be the number of points per token. That's the only logical thing that would that's the only thing that would make sense if you were doing this. So, in other words, if 5 is, is the number of points for a green token and 45 is the number of points for a red token, the question is how many more? Anytime you see how many more, it's difference, it's subtraction. So your answer here is 40. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with this type of a question. Knowing what the parts are in uh, a linear equation is really what this is in standard form. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.